بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In this video we will continue previous topic contingency table last time we have done R into C contingency tables R row C columns so 2 into 2 means 2 rows and 2 columns for 2 into 2 contingency table we use different formula so in a 2 into 2 contingency table where we have only one degree of freedom one degree of freedom means the formula of the degree of freedom in test for independence is row minus one into column minus one if value of r and c both are two so two minus one will be one two minus one will be one one into one will be equal to one one degree of freedom the formula of the yates correction yates is the name of the statistician yates derive a new formula for 2 into 2 contingency table the formula for chi square is chi square is equal to double summation oij minus eij absolute value mode means the result of this term will be positive either the value is positive or negative we convert into positive value minus 0 0.5 whole square y minus 0 0.5 for continuity so years correction for continuity is applied you know that in frequency distribution we convert the class interval into class boundary for continuity of the data or variable and you have used same method in binomial approximation to the normal distribution in probability you know that in binomial distribution variable is discrete normal distribution variable is continuous when we convert the binomial distribution into normal distribution discrete variable into continuous variable we subtract 0.5 from lower value 8.5 in upper value for continuity of the variable the so same as here the formula of the yates correction for continuity is applied when the degree of freedom is only one so oij minus eij mode absolute value positive value either the value is negative or positive first we will convert into positive value then we will subtract 0.5 and then whole square divided by eij same as the first formula if the expected frequencies are large the results from both formulas previous formula and this formula almost the same when the expected frequencies are between 5 and 10 yates correction should be applied should be applied compulsory must so when the expected frequency is 5 and 10 yates correction should be applied but you can also apply this formula for 2 into 2 contingency table but when the frequencies are large the result will be same when the frequencies are between 5 and 10 should be applied this formula okay other steps are same same as the test for independence of the previous formula so now we saw the question the following table shows the result of an experiment to investigate the effect of vaccination of laboratory animals against a particular disease there are two variables two characteristic or two criteria of classification vaccination against a particular disease as the hypothesis that there is no difference between the vaccinated and unvaccinated groups that is the vaccination and disease are independent i have already explained we write always the main variable so there are two variables vaccinated and not vaccinated the general variable of this category will be equal to vaccination and got disease did not get disease you can use the journal variable general word disease because this is an intersection vaccinated got disease vaccinated did not get disease not vaccinated got disease not vaccinated did not get disease both are related to each other or intersect common so you can also write the group of the category in null hypothesis but suppose if you have two categories you can write the vaccinated and unvaccinated groups but suppose if you have three or four or five categories the null hypothesis statement of the null hypothesis will be very lengthy so mostly in journal we write 
or we test the independency or dependency between the main variable so we write the main variable so test the hypothesis that there is no difference between the vaccinated and unvaccinated groups you can observe there are two groups vaccinated and not vaccinated already both are independent there is no intersection area between this and this so for this we write journal variable cause we test the either the variables are independent or dependent if you write the hypothesis the vaccinated and not vaccinated are independent this will be completely wrong because this is already independent you cannot apply the test for independency or dependency but if any term is common in this this category this category is common there are nine observation in this 42 observations are common in this 17 between this and these are common in this 28 are common did not get disease and not vaccinated intersection so tell the hypothesis that the, there is no difference between the vaccinated and unvaccinated group means the vaccination and disease are independent at 5% level of significance using yates correction formula you can also use the first formula the result will be same because the observed frequencies are more than 10 not between 5 and 10 if the observed frequency are large expected will be large if the observed frequency are small expected will be small so null hypothesis will be the vaccination and disease are independent alternate the vaccination and disease are not independent third step level of significance alpha fourth step test statistic before test statistic first we will calculate the total of the columns and rows and then we will find the expected frequencies then you can find the chi square calculated value so this is the given data first calculate total of first column total of second column given in red color total of this 9 plus 42 51 70 plus 22 45 and calculate the expected frequencies this total of the column multiply by row divided by grand total you will obtain 13.8 same as for this total of this column 70 multiply by 51 divided by 96 you will obtain 37.2 same as for this cell and same as for this cell and then calculate the chi square value apply the formula formula is oij minus eij absolute value minus 0.5 you know that 9 is less than the 13.8 result will be negative first we will convert into positive after this subtraction the result will be negative remove the negative sign ignore the negative sign convert into positive then subtract 0.5 then square divided by 13.8 expected frequencies same as for second in this the result will be positive because 42 is greater than 37.2 subtract minus 0.5 then square divided by 37.2 same as for this cell and fourth cell all frequencies simplify you will obtain 1.340 and so on total will be 3.917 this is the calculated value chi square calculated value obtained from the observed data observed result and chi square critical value critical region table value with the help of alpha degree of freedom is 1 row minus 1 into column minus 1 2 minus 1 into 2 minus 1 will be equal to 1 is 3.84 and this calculated value is more than the of expected value table value so we will reject the null hypothesis because calculated will lies in the rejected region the so conclusion will be the calculated value lies in the critical region we reject the null hypothesis and conclude that the vaccination and disease are dependent because the null hypothesis is reject alternate means the vaccination and disease are not independent or you can say dependent so conclusion is the vaccination and disease are dependent okay now hope for homework page number 343 question number 14 allah office